Hi everyone, today we're looking at the uh, new Styx Shards of Darkness. Uh, I'm going to go through all the options and settings on this game and uh, just have a quick look if sort of various GPUs can run it with different memory configurations. It's uh, an Unreal Engine game and it should be pretty straightforward to run on, uh, on anything. The game's booted straight into Epic for myself and looking at it we're only using what, just under 2.5 gigabytes of VRAM. So, if, without further ado, if we go straight on to uh, the options, let's have a look. So we've got, here we go, options from the top, game, difficulty. Uh, it's just set to the minimum at the moment for myself here because I'm only doing a test, but still. Not that I'm rubbish at games, of course. Yeah. Uh, we've got initiated, goblin and master. I don't think I'll be doing master, but hey. Right, display subtitles, yep, speaks for itself. Display detection icons, activated or deactivated. Display brightness and sound interface. Display 3D objects. I take it that's just to say, yeah, yeah, activate, deactivate. Display text of objects, yep. Controls. Um, game seems very suited to keyboard mouse. Uh, I quickly tried it on uh, Xbox One controller and yeah, it just felt a bit sluggish, a bit slow. You could probably turn the speed up, but I prefer keyboard mouse for this particular one. Now, as for a DS4 work in a PlayStation controller, I don't know. I I put it on and it seemed to work natively for myself. I'm running uh, Windows 10 Pro. shouldn't really matter. But if you look down here, you've got button type, Xbox, you've got PlayStation. So you can just switch it over, which is uh, a nice thing to be able to do. You know, it depends on which controller you're more comfortable with. So it's up to you, but personally, mouse keyboard. Anyway, so controller, keyboard, uh, camera assistance there, deactivated. Yeah, that sort of did me head in. It sort of moves for you when you've got that on. I'm not, not too keen on that. You'll see what I mean. Give it a try, but I deactivated that. Camera sensitivity, yeah, let's leave it default. It's, it's fast enough. Invert the axis, only really matters to me on flight games. I don't know if you're the same, but hey, this is not a flight game. Uh, display. Here we go. Global settings. We've got auto, which is, like I say, it's set everything to the max. Quite interesting because, as I've said in previous videos, I'm running an older GPU. This is a 4GB 290X. Although top of the range in its day, it's now long in the tooth, but easily capable of running this game at a 1080p. So if we turn auto off, we've got weak, which, well, it does keep everything on. Oh no, deactivate vSync. Uh, we lost V-Sync, brightness, okay. But weak, we'll have a quick look at what weak looks like, shall we? This be interesting. Okay, so this is weak. Clearly lost the ground textures to a massive way there. The character models are still quite nice. It's not too bad. Um, frames per second, we're on 125, so... You know, if you guys have got like a GTX 960 or whatever, you're not going to struggle with this. We're on under one and a half gigabyte VRAM. Memory use is, even with an eight gigabyte system, normal normal RAM, you're not going to struggle. And it's spread across all cores, nice and evenly. We've got uh, all eight cores there, sharing some load. It's a pretty easy game to run by the look of things. There's no, no big deal to it. So this is low. Uh, okay, where do we go? Let's see if we can get out of this little area. Show you something new. Like I say, I've not played a Styx game before. I'm going to die now, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, hello. Okay, sorry about that. Is that your test? Uh, right, okay. Let's just load the game back in and we'll go to the next setting up on graphics. I clearly have to uh, go down the rope line that's there. It's just uh, sort of didn't. Right, okay, so we're on a low. Let's go to display. Uh, we're on weak, sorry, as they call it. Average. V Sync still deactivated. Borderless. Okay, whatever. Full screen. Yeah. Oh, it defaults to... No, it doesn't. I thought it was going to default there to borderless, but it doesn't. Okay, let's apply that. Okay. And back into game. Uh, we've got 
a bit of floor texture back. Character model looks the same, don't see any difference there. Uh, frame rate, well, hovering around 100. So, you know, still, still ample. Can we pick this rope up to get down with? No. Anybody who's played this game before should know what to do. I sadly don't. Yeah, that's that's easily doable. Uh, VRAM there, one and a half gigabytes. Main memory not affected in the slightest, so all good. Okay, let's have a look at the next one down. Average, what are we on next? High. Okay, supply that. Enter. And back to game. Okay, VRAM uh, under two gigabytes still. That's good. Floor textures are looking a bit better now. So the wall textures. In fact, the game's looking quite smart now. The character model's gone up a bit. If you look at the uh, shader on him, it's definitely improved compared to the uh, weak and sort of medium setting as they have it. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a lot better. We've got the cobwebs in more detail as well now on the roof. It's quite impressive actually. Not bad. Yeah. No slowdown, still at 60 frames per second. So it is dropping nicely between each alteration. Right, let's go down to the next one. Display. Epic, which is what I defaulted to. So we're all, we're all maxed out there. Okay. We'll go through the individual options in a minute. Okay, so this is epic. Um, character doesn't look really any different to the naked eye. Can't see anything there. Dinging away there. Should have shut that up. Um, maybe draw distance. There's not a lot in it, guys. Um, we're over the 2 gigabyte VRAM there. But there's not much in it. There's not much difference. Maybe the lighting's slightly improved. We've got global illumination or... Uh, yeah, it's slight. It is slight. I mean, you could probably tweak it to get it under 2 gigabytes using individual settings if you need to keep it under there. Okay, let's have a look now at individual settings. So we'll go to display again and have a look right we're on epic so res wise this is probably going to be limited to what your card will run okay so we can go to uh 3 200 by 1800 there but that'll kill the frame rate um, we haven't got anything past epic no weak oh well let me start again weak average high epic pretty much the same as the global settings on these doesn't look any difference to me yeah they're all the same aren't they weak average high epic on all of them Oop. keep going around again keep missing it one more yep v-sync on and off yeah nothing else brightness and that's it that's all of them so we'll apply 4k <laughs> this will be funny i'm wondering what um what this is going to run like to be honest like i say I could do with updating my system which will be done over the next uh, few weeks okay so oh my word we are on 32 frames per second and yes i figured out how to climb up onto this ledge bravo me and ooh, normal ram's not really affected vram is approximately 3.2 gigabytes so uh not bad. You could actually play it at this if you didn't want 60 frames per second. I mean, I'm averaging between 32 and 45. I'm not sure if you're going to gain enough out of it though to warrant playing it at 4K. Not really. Not looking at the character models on the floor. It's nice. It's a luxury, but... No, I'd probably lock it to 1440p and see where it sits, which we'll do right now just to try it while i'm on oh have we had a crash oh dear we may have crashed guys no oh no we're back hang on a minute that's weird we can't access the lower part of the menu in 4k 
Oh, that's different. We cannot get... Oh, we have to use <laughs> arrow down to get to display. The mouse will not drag the menu down, so we've clearly got a bit of an issue there. Let's, let's turn this down. Let's apply that and see if the menu works correctly again. So we bug. Excellent. We'll feed that back. Uh, right. Okay, can we? Yeah, now the menu works, so it just doesn't like my setup at 4K. So, 56 frames per second, 49, 46. VRAM at 2.7 gigabytes. Yeah, you can play it at that nice enough. Easy to lock to 60, just run it at 1080p or run it at 14.40 and drop some of the shadows down. Okay, next menu. We've got sound. Should be fairly basic. Global volume, music volume, sound effects volume, interface volume and voices. So there's no options there for DTS or anything like that. It's just straightforward uh, stereo. We've got a co-op play on this game. It's interesting. And load, restart, save. Yeah. I'd say that's pretty much everything. I mean, really, at that point, I should sort of clear off and try and figure out how the hell you play this game. It does look quite quite nice. Unreal Engine. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And if this was any use at all, please click like. It does help me make more of these. I'm trying to do them sort of daily or every other day. And I uh, appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Goodbye.